Good morning. I'm Steve from Quantumize, and you're going to want to watch this video because we're about to tell you the most important trends and news driving markets this morning. You're watching the Quantumize Global AM Markets Preview. Today is April 16th, 2019. So much going on with the deluge of earnings results, but I'm spending most of my time looking at U.S. small cap ETFs this morning. We published our weekly ETFs report yesterday, and again, our favorite ETFs were small caps. Over the past week, roughly $700 million has flowed out of the iShares Russell 2000 ETF, ticker IWM. I'm looking to see if this is a great opportunity to put on a contrarian bullish trade with sentiment mixed. Remember, like we mentioned before, if the rally in the S&P 500 continues, we would expect U.S. small cap stocks to continue to rally. It may be surprising that I continue to focus on U.S. stocks, but it's pretty simple. Yes, U.S. stocks have valuations that are more expensive than their international counterparts. But right now, U.S. stocks have higher earnings growth, higher operating margins, and higher ROEs. Now let me tell you about some really important stocks you need to be following this morning. And yes, I'm about to do an earnings recap. BlackRock reports first quarter EPS that handily beats consensus. Assets under management rose to $6.52 trillion. Institutional inflows were $29.1 billion in the quarter with iShares ETF seeing $81 billion in inflows as well. Charles Schwab reports first quarter EPS that beat market forecasts. Charles Schwab reports return on equity in the first quarter of 20%. Charles Schwab reports 3.59 trillion client assets and accounts, 11.8 million active brokerage accounts, with 418,000 revenue trades per day. And finally, Bank of America reports first quarter results on an adjusted basis that beat expectations. On an absolute basis, the company reported record profit for the quarter. Management highlights that they bought back $6.3 billion in stock, helping drive a 13% year-over-year improvement in EPS. Fixed income trading was better than expected, with stocks trading missing, very similar to what Goldman Sachs reported yesterday. Lower fees led to a 1% drop in revenues for Bank of America's Wealth and Investment Management Division. We continue to be biased to find ways to short the banking sector with our favorite trade, the put spread collar, on the S&P SPDR Regional Bank ETF, ticker KRE, that we were pushing last week. Definitely something to consider right now. Thanks for watching this video. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment below, shoot us a tweet, or send us an email. Let us know what you think about our AM Markets preview and some other points that you'd like us to mention. I'm Steam from Quantumize, and you were just watching the Quantumize Global AM Markets preview.